Hey guys, my name is Sanjeev and I'm a product evangelist with Freshworks. I have Joe with me. Joe's from the Freshworks product management team. Joe and I talk a lot about Freshworks, about ITSM and how, you know, products can actually change the way best practices apply. And I know Joe's building something really cool for Freshworks and I wanted everyone to hear about it. Joe, what are you building? So I'm building conversation portal for Freshworks which turns your self-service portal into a conversational interface. All right, that sounds interesting. But why conversations? So Sanjeev, uh, conversation as a behavior is very natural you know, for us as humans. So in the last few years, you would have noticed uh, uh, the popularity of apps such as WhatsApp, Facebook yeah. Messenger, True. and even in, a, in an enterprise world, uh, MS Teams, Slack, and Google Hangouts chat, right? Yeah. So those have gained real popularity because users like to converse and chat with other users as if they were right there. What's the thought process behind turning the self-service portal into a conversation? So let me ask you a question. Why do you go to a self-service portal? I go to a portal when something is broken. I'm not able to print a document or, or also when I need something. I need a new software or I need that new laptop, you know, IT team has ordered. So uh, that's probably why. Exactly. So when you go to an IT self-service portal, you have a need in your mind, right? You don't you don't just go there to browse what is uh, new and you know let me just look at some deals. It's not Amazon.com. It's end of the day. It's an IT portal. So you go there when you have an issue or when you need something new. So that is exactly what we have tried to capture with this. So we have removed all the clutter and and kind of put the focus on the user and said, hey, how can we help you today? Okay. Let me try to understand this. What happens when I go to this conversational portal? What do I see? Right. So the moment you enter, uh, first you see the announcements because okay. that's that's sort of the IT team's way of avoiding certain tickets coming in by kind of broadcasting certain news that hey, you know, we are under scheduled maintenance or some you know email server is down and we yeah. know that it's down. We are looking into it. So yeah. that is the sort of the prime spot. And then of course we ask you the question, hey, how can we help you today? Okay. And uh, you can you know you can say that you want to report an issue or let's say you want to. Uh, you know, request for a new item or an okay. application, okay. Uh, right? And then you could proceed, kind of having a conversation with the with the bot, with Freddy, right there in the portal. Yeah. So you can almost say that Freddy is now part of the IT team. Absolutely. Yeah. So Joe, what are your plans on evolving the conversational portal? So uh, imagine Freddy living inside your enterprise messaging tool. So when a user has some issue or they want to you know, request for a new item, all they have to do is take out their mobile phones and tap on one of these apps, for example, Slack or MS Teams, and then tap on Freddy and then have this conversation with the agent, uh, virtual, virtual agent that is Freddy and uh, request for an item or even they can self-serve uh, by reading some solution articles right from their phone. So you're saying I will now be able to collaborate with the IT team through right. Freddy and as an IT team, they don't need to lose track of this conversation because right. all of it is going to beautifully flow in fresh service. Exactly, right? The IT agent who's going to look at the ticket will have the whole context of the conversation along yeah. with the solution articles that were suggested to the user so that next time when this agent talks to the end user, they know what articles that person has already browsed or seen and suggest the other alternative yep. solution. Thanks a lot Joe, this is fun talking to you and we look forward to conversational portal and uh, I'm personally excited about it because I believe that self-service portals are definitely due an evolution stage and I think it's here.